Transition is hard. And while I am filled with gratitude for being here and being able to transition, I felt like I needed to make a video paying respect to the fact that this is a difficult process. Well, yeah, and part of the reason that you are here illustrates exactly what I mean. Transition is a lonely time where, you know, you don't necessarily feel like you have, um, I don't want to say support, but I don't know, just people that understand. I mean, I feel like transition, or puberty usually happens at a time in your life where it's okay to be selfish. You should be selfish. You know, when you're a teenager, you know, you're growing into who you are, and it's generally okay to be all about you, but, you know, when you transition as an adult, you can't, you don't really have the option of, you know, selfishly going through your process. And, you know, that can make it more difficult. Anyway, I just wanted to, I don't know, raise a toast with you to transition and the difficulties that it brings. I mean, rewarding, yes, but difficult nonetheless. So, I just thought we'd share a drink together, you and me, Spider-Man, just paying some respect to the difficulties of transition. I mean, it just... Transition has been one of the most rewarding and difficult times of my life. And I just, you know, one of the things that I wanted to talk about is, you know, transition being a really lonely time, you know, because even if you could explain everything that's going on with you, you know, people that are willing to re uh, really delve in and take that trip with you are few. And I'm definitely fortunate to have a couple people in my life that are. But at the same time, you find yourself yearning for things like uh, brotherhood, which I've found is something difficult for me personally to find during this uh, time of my life. You know, partially because I am an adult, and I'm really busy, and they're adults, and they're really busy. Um, but also partially because I'm in this weird spot, you know, right now, between between man and woman, I guess you could say, but not really, um, where it's just hard to find, it's hard to figure out where you fit into the, the friend and the social scheme of things. You know what I mean? What the hell? Are you kidding me? We were supposed to have a toast together, like, you know, brotherhood, and like, salute my journey, and there you are guzzling it. The least you could do is pick it up like a real man. Jeez. Alright, fine. Point taken. Anyway, cheers to us. This is all I want. A sense of brotherhood, you know? And I feel like what I'm would you get up off your frickin' knees? You know what? If you want to drink like that, they don't need to be they don't need to see it. Have at it. Anyway, what I really am missing in my life right now and what I really wish I had was a brother or a father or <clears throat> I don't know. I just really would like some male energy in my life and I don't know, that's probably the type of thing that, you know, comes with time, you know. You know, I definitely have, you know, a male figure or two in my life, and the time that I get to spend with them, I really value, you know. Because it's, you know, clearly I'm a grown-up, and I don't need a role model to turn out okay, but at the same time, I don't know, I really feel like I missed out on the part of my life where I had a male role model, and I just really wish I had that energy in my life. So what I'm stuck with is, I don't know, just kind of a feeling of not loneliness as a whole, but 
lonely as in I'm in a weird spot where I can't quite enter into my tribe and my tribe being you know I feel like my tribe is now men so I don't know it's a weird situation <clears throat> I feel like well I mean do you have anything do you have any you know words of wisdom being since you know it's you and me here sharing this intimate discussion Well, you know, and I guess those are all really valid points, and uh, definitely. Can you look at me when I'm talking to you? Thank you. I mean, those are really valid points, and definitely something I can work on. Um, again, I don't know. It's just difficult. So it's just like I'm here, and I'm I'm eight and a half months on testosterone and you know I I feel like a man inside and I feel like I look like a man you know but <clears throat> you know how do how does the male community perceive me you know and, and I guess I don't mean strangers that are male I mean more along the lines of people that are were already in my life before I transitioned that knew me as female and now I'm male and it's like I'm asking them to let me in to their tribe, you know, and whereas most of them are, you know, friendly and nice and, you know, using the correct pronouns and so on and so forth, you know, I don't feel like I've really been accepted as one of them. And I don't know how to make the transition into actually being part of that tribe, part of the male brotherhood. And I don't know, maybe it's just going to be something where I have to make new friends that didn't know me as female. I mean, I don't know. I mean, do you now, this is what I'm talking about. Two guys just pissing off the side of the deck because they can. Brotherhood.